The diffuser is the opening at the rear of the floor and is the part of the car responsible for generating the most downforce from the underside. Airflow is accelerated under the floor and with faster moving airflow comes a lower pressure area underneath. This generates downforce as the higher pressure air on top of the car pushes it downwards. As the diffuser opens up, the airflow accelerates further at the throat, creating a point of lowest pressure underneath the floor. This airflow is then drawn into the diffuser space, expanding to create a transition zone from the fast underfloor velocity to the ambient velocity surrounding the car. The diffuser has to be carefully shaped to ensure no separation of airflow, which can really reduce the effectiveness of the overall floor. Turbulent air underneath the floor can also damage the performance, creating pockets of higher pressure, which can upset the stability of the car's underbody. Diffuser area is another part of the car that improved a lot. In 2016, the rule were limiting much more the diffuser. But we saw in 2017 and 18 a lot of work, not only on the vertical straight under the diffuser and the shape of the diffuser itself, but a big work all around the tire, trying to improve the spilling of the air in this uh, section of the diffuser and create completely new shape of the diffuser in this section. Teams have to maximise the gains on offer from the diffuser and also have to manage how the airflow leaves the diffuser area in order to minimise the trailing drag produced by the car. This is why the edge of the diffuser comes equipped with small winglets around the top surface. Inside the diffuser are strakes, which are able to create vortices to further develop the lower pressure zone under the floor. Together with the rear wing, these pieces are responsible for creating as much downforce as possible on the car.